More Americans identify as Republicans than Democrats. It's the first time in three decades the GOP held such a lead. Let me uh, go through some history here as far as these trends. This next indicator may be um, the most reliable indicator that you can use uh, as far as a predictor of this election. And if you are to use it, there's pretty much a, call it 95 plus percent chance yeah. that Donald Trump wins the Electoral College. Uh, but first, these polls, for those of you who don't know, keep shifting more and more toward Republicans. As the countdown to Election Day ticks away, voter registration <laughs> deadlines are starting to hit. A closer look at polling shows, at the moment, more Americans identify as Republicans than Democrats. It's the first time in three decades the GOP held such a lead. Wow. Okay. So to give you some context uh, before we continue, anything that's well, from Republican plus anything, whether it's one point oh one, <laughs> all the way up to Democrats plus three, Republican wins the Electoral College. That's that's always been the case going back to the year 2000. So even if a Democrat is a plus three, meaning self-identified Democrats in this country, according to Gallup, Republicans win the Electoral College. All right. Here's something pretty interesting. Republicans now hold an advantage, according to all three major pollsters. Let's do NBC first. Uh, in 2020, Democrats were plus six. Now Republicans plus two. Pew Research, Democrats were plus four in 2020. Now Republicans plus one. Mm -hmm. And the most reliable, we're going to give you these numbers here and you can check all of them, the references. Gallup, Democrats plus five in 2020. Now Republicans are plus three. Wow. Yes. And, and Gallup has the most extensive record historically. They've been doing this for a very long time. Let me uh, go through some history here as far as these trends, right? Party identification, meaning this is what we're using right now, party identification, not necessarily registration. We're using the same methodology, Gallup is, yeah. uh, as they have used before. We're going to use the numbers from Q3, right? The third quarter before the election. Okay, 2020, Democrats were plus five. Democrats won the popular vote by 4.4. So within one point of that, okay, 2016, Democrats, according to Gallup, they were plus three. Democrat won the popular vote by 2.1% within one point. And of course, Republican won the Electoral College. That's what I'm telling you. Anything all the way up to Democrats plus three. If we play it conservatively, Democrats plus two, the Republican wins the Electoral College. 2012, Gallup had Democrats plus four. Democrat won the national popular vote by 3.9%. Wow, that's close. 2008, Democrat plus eight. It won the popular vote by plus 15 percent in that case. That was one of the very uh, that was one of the outliers because yeah. it was Barack Obama. 2004 was tied. They had actually Republicans up by uh, a li little. Well, Republicans by point zero something. So a statistical tie. The popular vote was won actually by a Republican 2.46 percent. So again, it's within that two, three points, that margin of error. Let's go back to two. Uh, that was 2004, 2000. Let me look at my notes here. Uh, Democrats were plus five. Popular vote, Democrats plus 0.51%. And again, a Republican won the Electoral College. You cannot find an example where they've had Democrats up really by, by three, some could argue four or five, where Republicans have not won the national, uh, the Electoral College. And we're really, really close. This is the most consistent pattern that you can see. And of course, right now you can look at where the money is being bet. But Gallup specializes in this. Not all polls are created equal. And this is not an election poll. This is comparing numbers. It's as close as you get apples to apples in this kind of a sphere right now. And Republicans yeah. are up by a margin that they have not seen really in two decades. They're up by three with Gallup. There is no world in which Donald Trump does not win the Electoral College and very likely the popular vote, unless for the first time, Gallup has a huge swing and a miss yeah. since the year 2000. Well, and I can't even, I can't believe that it wasn't higher in 2020. Go back to that 2020 number really quickly because I thought that would have been the time. It was D plus five. Yeah. Like that was the year where I was like, okay, everything's on the line. Donald Trump, like everybody's coming out and actually if they're Republican, they're supporting him because we knew that Biden was just, he was going to melt down like he did during his presidency, right? We knew that was coming. And now with that kind of secret Trump vote that we always talk about, people not necessarily wanting to say it, but going to the ballot box and yeah. checking the box for Donald Trump, even with that, we're leading by yeah. three, Republican plus three. That's insane. Yeah. 
Think and about that. What is was there? A, I didn't see it in here. Was there a time where there was Republican anything close to plus three? I think Tide was the no. I think the, the closest best. was um, point oh one or Tide like and the Republican won <laughs> by plus two. Yeah, but it, I mean, it, I can't even imagine go back in history. Now, look, I understand that this is just one marker. This uh, is actually, one the, of the, bi- most the biggest win they would have is uh, or the biggest example you would have would be two thousand, where they had Democrats plus five, and they only won by about point yeah. five percent. Yeah. But again, that was an election. I don't know if you guys remember this was quite contentious. A little bit. Yeah. In Florida. Just by one county, at least. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, you know, put that with the poly market stuff that we talked about. Put that with, I just got a new poll, Trump up one in Michigan right now. Put that with the poll switch that we're seeing uh-huh. in Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. Put that with these other things. And, and all of a sudden, it starts to look very, very, very good for Donald Trump. And the only thing, like you said, that has changed is Kamala Harris has done a press tour. And people can speak here what she actually thinks. And most of the time you don't hear what she thinks because she just rambles. Well, she said, let's bring out the, I need black votes. Let's bring out weed and crypto. Why the crypto? Is crypto a big yeah. black thing? I don't necessarily, I mean, I'm sure it is with some black guys, but I don't think of it as like the black thing. I don't think like if you're a black voter. I think voter, that she meant to say uh, cash app. She thought it was <laughs> built on blackchain technology. Is that what oh, she said? Oh, come on. <laughs> that's saying, that's pretty saying, good like, there. I think we're a bunch, of the, a bunch of black guys who were affected by the Robin Hood thing. That, that might be it yeah. though. Yeah, because that seemed to be yeah, yeah that's. I'm just saying it's just because it had a hood in the name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and well, it also had Robin. They're big fans of Batman, you know. Yes. But, uh, oh, or small oh, birds. Yeah. Uh, Were you about to say something there, Noodles? I was like, just going to say 14 and a half now. So 14 it's, and a half. This morning I want to say it was it was less than 12 this morning when I was checking it like at 5 a.m. Today's yeah. today's been a day. And that's and that was because of the uh, Noodles joke. Yep. Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, look. She has to go out in a press tour. She's th- and Brian Stelter was on CNN this morning saying, and now Kamala Harris is the one doing the press tour and turning the tables. Oh, Why is Donald Trump not speaking on 60 Minutes? She has the upper hand, and she's down another three points in the betting odds. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why this guy has any kind of a job. I don't hate. I don't hate anybody. It's wrong to hate. I'm just incredibly suspicious. He has dirt on somebody. You don't yes. get to be that fat, unappealing, stupid, and have that kind of job security. Brian Stelter now. is the is the Reddit politics comments thread personified. So yeah. were they actually if you go to the Reddit politics, because they ban Reddit, right, they ban most conservatives, right? They ban the Donald Trump one, and even on the conservative Reddits, they moderate. So I spent yeah. a lot of time on left-leaning message boards, forums, groups, and certainly Reddit. They actually believe that it's a landslide for Kamala Harris. Like, oh, Republicans are in for a root. They have no idea what's coming. It's gonna be like the red wave that never happened in midterms. Like, well, hold on a second, that's actually closer than you're thinking. Right. And watch. When she loses, what's going to happen is the left is going to say, and Donald Trump could barely beat, really, the weakest Democrat candidate in modern history. They want you to forget how they have pulled out all the stops. Oh, yeah. We'll turn their back on her real quick and make her a scapegoat. They'll forget about her so fast. Nobody likes her in the Democrat Party. Come on. They're all just putting this on for show right now. Nobody likes Tim Walls. The reason Tim Walls got picked is because he was the only person out there in the Democrat Party in any kind of position of power in a state that wouldn't upstage a moron. (laughs) <laughs> right? Okay. He's he, you can't pick Shapiro because then you're like, well, why isn't he going for president? Because she's an idiot, and he actually is an articulate person who can, you know, you can't go Buttigieg, even though I hate him. He actually does a good job putting forward the he case does he does and do lying a good job about it and spinning those things when his mouth isn't full. Well, that's yeah. <laughs> that's absolutely true. But here's what happened with Brian Stelter. Brian has dirt on somebody, and he told them that he had dirt on them, but they fired him anyway. And right. then he said, okay, I'm going to prove it. And now he's shown them the proof, and he got rehired. Yes, I think that's. What I think happened. that's what happened. Like, here's the actual sex tape, sir. Yes. Uh, so you don't want this getting out? Yeah, I have my spot back, right? You're going to so- hire me back, and you're going to retweet my posts where I talk <laughs> about my wife's hot bod because I'm incredibly <laughs> heterosexual. No one is as heterosexual as me. The mo- the mo- or this worst scenario where CNN actually went, you know what? We kind of missed that guy. Yeah. We should bring him back. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I it not. sucked that we had to fire him no. the first time because he kept stealing Amy's lunch. Yes. I miss his uh. echoes throughout the hallway of, I'm straight. Well, <laughs> yeah, while you're running in a zigzag pattern. Okay, yeah. sure. Okay. It's not even a question. I'm not saying it to weaponize it. I've had at least five instances where women who pay zero attention uh, to news, and three of whom have horrible gaydar. And I said, hey, uh, let me ask you, what do you think about that guy? And every single one to the letter responded, you mean the gay guy? 
<laughs> well, let's ask Gay William when he gets in here on Mug Club. Oh, yeah, what do you right. think? You Although go. I will say, I, his gaydar's a little off too because yeah. anywhere I go, anything I do with him, it's, yep, he's gay. Yeah, that's right. He's gay. He's gay. I know. And I'm like, that's a reflection of me. What are you? Yeah. What are you what talking are you about? Well, gay for? people that's... think that all guys are gay. I think he's just being cheeky, but I, he, he he does have a pretty sweet gaydar, though. He, he does have a pretty sweet gaydar. And by the way, we actually do have breaking yeah. right now the Democrats' reaction to the recent Gallup poll findings. Here's what. Hey, if you like this video, you should know that there are videos every day because they come from the full live show weekdays at 10 a.m. Eastern. If you want more of a sample, you can click this video next to me. I don't know what it is. Could be a change of mind. Could be a debate. Could be. It could be one of my appearances on The View. Have your puke bucket.